This week's episode of JapanCast is brought to you by Site5, offering superior web hosting. Audible at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Pick up your free audiobook today. And Samui French Girl Toast. Samui French Toast Man has a girlfriend. JapanCast is the number one source for Japanese news, culture, customs, and language. This is episode 38. So we're still not in a very festive or goofy、no. mood here.、Um, a whole lot of stuff to go over.、Um, a lot of people have been emailing us that they want to volunteer to go to Japan. Crash Japan. Which is、uh, crashjapan.com is looking for volunteers. First and foremost, they're looking for people who live in Japan. And if you go to crashjapan.com, they have all the information on how you can sign up. If you don't live in Japan, they are looking for teams of like four to five people, but you're going to need to make a two week commitment to them plus one more week for travel and orientation. So that's three weeks of your time. You're going to have to get there. Time and money. Right. It's not, they're not going to pay to bring you over. You have to, to get there.、Mm. Um, so, but if you're interested, go to crashjapan.com. They're also looking for supplies. Again,、uh, from Japan is better because you can just send it right to them. If, so if you live in Japan, you can get this to them, but you can check their website. The list they had right now was they need things like, Water containers, personal hygiene items, canned baby milk,、uh, men's and women's undergarments, rice, portable stoves,、uh, toilet paper, paper towels, canned food,、uh, instant ramen,、mm. batteries, and things for cleaning. When, when I say cleaning, I mean like rakes, brooms, shovels, buckets, garbage bags, all that kind of stuff. So, again, go to their website and、uh, they'll have more information.、Um, wanted to also talk to you a little bit about because you, your family's there. But before we do that, I want to thank Site5 for all their help in keeping us going. Site5.com.、Um, head over to tinyurl.com slash JC Site5 and sign up、uh, with them if you're looking to host a website. Uh, you can also get a free trial. Just do code free trial and select a one month contract.、Um, but everybody's probably wanting to know how's your family?、Um, they're safe <laughs>、okay. for now. Um, um, they have, I think, gas is back,、uh, okay. water, electricity, so they have everything.、Um, but many parts. Um, many cities they are doing planned evacuation.、Uh, no, um, the oh, power outage, yeah, power outage. Keikaku Teiden, Keikaku Teiden, we are t e m a s they are doing that. Um, and yes, the nuclear plant, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Um, it's not. It's the next prefecture from Ibaraki, right? Yeah, it's north. M- one north. Yeah, Fukushima、and、is north of Ibaraki. Her family lives Ibaraki. in Ibaraki. Yes,、so. my family lives in Ibaraki prefecture. And then、um, I'm still worried because of the information we've been getting. Yeah, you've been watching NHK. U Stream? Yeah. yeah. They were doing that, but they stopped broadcasting.、Mm-hmm. So, um,、hmm. So, still very yeah, dangerous is, and scary. Yeah, because right now,、mm, water, they found radiation,、uh, radiation and vegetables. And yeah, they're telling、uh, children not to drink the water、right. in a certain area. Little kid.、Mm-hmm. So, that's again why things like Crash Japan's asking for containers because they're filling up water. They're also getting bottled water, but they're filling up and then driving it from Tokyo up. To that area to deliver it so people have water that they can drink. They're good. Any other news you wanted to? No, 
we just uh, we're gonna show some videos, right? right? Yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. Also, before I go into the to the videos, um, people had asked, "Oh, you guys gonna do any kind of fundraiser? You gonna sell things and things like that?" And I mean, we certainly could do something like that. But my my view is, if you want to give, just give. Um, we, in our last episode, we gave you a lot of different options you you can do. I'd rather not be the middleman. I'd rather not come up with a T-shirt to sell because I'm going to have to invest in the in the price. I, nobody's going to donate T-shirts and their time and the printing and all that for free. So I'll have to cover that cost. Well, then the percentage that you guys would use to buy those shirts would be lost in that. I'd, I'd rather if, you know, if you had your choice between buying a t-shirt from us and just sending that money to one of these organizations, just send the money to the organization. That's why I really didn't try to organize anything like that. I'd rather, if you feel the need to give, just give the money. Don't, don't wait for somebody to hold an event or to sell you something to give. Just, just give because you want to. Um, and so speaking of giving, Crash Japan's working with Operation Blessing. Mm -hmm. I actually emailed, I had exchanged some emails with them this morning, and they gave us permission to show this uh, video. They've been traveling around. I've edited it together so you guys can see. It's one thing to see photographs, and it's another thing to see video from people who are there. So let's take a look at this video from Operation Blessing on what they're seeing uh, in the tsunami zone. So let's take a look. Everything's gone. So all his, all his, what he owns in the earth, on, on earth is gone. I had no idea that such something like this would happen. So these, this red area shows where the tidal wave came into. We've made it as far as this town, Rikuzen Takada. We're on the coast of the Iwadi Prefecture, and this is the second day in a row that Operation Blessing has been able to deliver essential relief supplies to some of the hardest hit areas here in Japan. We're in an auditorium, a huge auditorium here in the town, where most of the residents have fled to. There are about a thousand people sleeping here, living here now. Their homes have been completely destroyed, and those are the homes that we're seeing obliterated, washed up, just like matchsticks and piles of debris. This building is one of the sh most shocking things I've ever seen. The water got all the way to the top. It's maybe 80 feet tall. And one of the residents told us that people were plucked from the top of that building by helicopters, rescued from there, and that they were waist deep in water on the top of the building. So you just get a sense of how high the wall of water was and how powerful too, that it would rip right through the building and it's gone all the way up the valley as far as you can see, pretty much in every direction, as far as you look. It's just complete and utter destruction. All of the wood is from the houses. You know, they built their houses here out of wood to make them earthquake proof. And they all survived the earthquake, but did not survive the tsunami. of Otsuchi. Operation Blessing has come here. We've continued moving north 
and we've been given exceptional favor with the Japanese police and the military, and they led us to a shelter where some of the residents of this city are, have been living. We were able to purchase kerosene, which is the number one most needed thing in this area because it's exceptionally cold at the moment. Without that fuel, they can't heat the shelters and it's extremely dangerous because the temperatures are very, very low. In the last three days, Operation Blessing has reached over two and a half thousand people with essential relief supplies in these hardest hit areas. The shelter that we're in now is a pretty common site up in the Tsunami region. Shelters like this will be used for months to come, housing families that lost everything in the disaster. In this shelter, I spoke to one family. The father is Mr. Matsumoto, and he's got these beautiful children. And he told us how his home was completely inundated with waters from the tsunami. And they've been living here ever since, battling the cold nights, huddled together under blankets. And fortunately, Operation Blessing is serving this shelter with food and kerosene to help them keep warm. Amongst the food and the very essential supplies that we're bringing, Operation Blessing also bought some toys to serve the kids in these shelters. We brought this truck up from Tokyo. It's packed full of food, water, and warm clothing. And we're unloading it here in the city of Ishinomaki to serve some 200 shelters that are housing the survivors of the tsunami in this city alone. Well, it started snowing again. It's freezing cold. The good news is that we've had our trucks arrive with bottled water. We're unloading them now. It's pretty tough going because the water is basically ice. Uh, but it's good news that Operation Blessing has managed to get bottled water all the way from the south of Tokyo up to the tsunami region. We're going to be getting it out to some shelters that really, really need it. The building is full of families that have come to take refuge. Uh, these are people that have been displaced from their homes. And you can see, if you look in here, Families have just taken over classrooms. We're going to start serving this place as much as we can because there are not just this school, there are many centers throughout this city that really need food, that really need water, and really need our help. We're procuring supplies down in the south. We're going to get them up here very soon. And Operation Blessing is going to have a huge impact in this nation as they go through this difficult time. So if um, you want to get involved with Operation Blessing, they've got a very easy website to remember. It's ob.org, ob.org. Head over there. They've got plenty of information. Um, they're working together with, with Crash Japan to get needed supplies to all those people. Um, there was another one, and I'll put the URL. I don't have it here in front mm. of me. Um, and I posted it to Facebook. So make sure you're part of our Facebook um, a, uh, he's an investor who he's an American, I, I believe, or at least he's a Westerner and he's written some books on investing and all that, but he lives close enough to the area and, um, he's doing socks for Japan because people need things. You, you don't think about it until you don't have it. They need things like socks. And that's all he's asking for is brand Just new socks. socks. You put, you could put a letter, put it in a, in a clean plastic bag. And I'll put the URL up on screen here. I'm sorry for those of you on audio. Go to Facebook if you're on listening to the audio version and, and look for the Socks for Japan mm. link. And you can just send, you know, that's something a lot of people have said, I want to donate, but I don't have very much money. If you can just run to your local Walmart or Kmart or Target or whatever you can, just buy some inexpensive socks and send them over. Mm. It'd be, you know, if you don't have anything, that's a wonderful thing to get. You'd be very happy to just have some clean socks. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, great, great thing. Um, coming up next, we have some news. First, I want to thank you guys uh, for continuing to donate to us. We really appreciate that, especially with all that's going on. Hi. Really, uh, thank you very much for that. Um, I think that's it. We'll go on to news. Now, I know we've been doing a lot of serious stuff lately, but 
personally, I can only take so much serious stuff. So I thought we'd take a break from doing 100% serious news, depressing news, and discuss something that's a little less serious. Uh, he, he was on NHK, right? Yeah, yeah. he was. NHK, he, they interviewed the doctor, this doctor, um, and he became a huge hit on Twitter in Japan. Mm. Everybody was talking about this guy, but if you're not following Japanese Twitter, you probably haven't heard about him. Yeah. He, his name is Yamamoto Sensei, mm. and he's the head of a hospital yeah, in Tokyo. Hospital. Huge I don't know hospital why he's talking about it, but yeah. So I've, I've compiled this just real short video of him, and I want you guys to see if you can figure out why <laughs> he's so popular in Japan. So let's take a look. Then came the album, then came the MySpace, we hit our first thousand. Now we in the stores trying to sell a hundred thousand. Even if we don't, I spit this gospel in the house and check it. What do you do when the hood said it filling you? But your brother in the faith is just on killing you. Talking down on your name just to get at you. Picking out a verse or two to see if what you spit is true. Don't get it twisted, see I only speak about a few. So when you see them, please hit them with the W. I'm only kidding, please show them some love because we war in the spirit not flesh and blood of course now that you've seen it you all know the reason he's so popular boom he's on the screen and like twitter goes they go crazy people, people go even crazy like. i mean it's his devilish good looks that are causing such a huge huge stir in japan he, well, could, he could be he's pierce Brosnan's asian, was, asian twin he's the now everybody's talking about yamamoto sensei uh-huh yeah, um, everybody's talking yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's a hit. We don't really... Nobody listens to him. Right. We, they just we stare don't at remember, him. We don't remember what he was talking mm -hmm. about, but we sure remember what he looks like. He is a memorable man. Mm. Uh, coming up next, we have some. We have a viewer question, or, well, something somebody sent in. Um, we want to thank one more time, sponsor... Audible, mm -hmm. audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Head there and pick up free audiobook. So up next is a viewer question. Hey. So um, someone wrote in a phrase for you to check, mm -hmm. and we're going to use it as an opportunity to teach a couple sentence patterns. Hi. So... Uh, Donald-san mm -hmm. Donald uh, sent me a phrase he uh, constructed himself. So, uh, today my supervisor told me I was being transferred. Mm -hmm. so, and he wrote, uh, boku ni kanji ga tsugeta yo. I think it's Understandable. I, I think mm -hmm. people will understand what you're trying to say. And uh, he said that he looked all the word, mm -hmm. every single word up, and then tried to put put it together in a sentence. Mm -hmm. um, it's well, that's what you have to do, though, right? If you want to construct sentence, right? First, you look at all the word mm -hmm. you construct in you know, first in your own language and right. then look them up each right. word in japanese right. uh, and then try to put it together um, so yes this is people will still understand you what mm -hmm. you're trying to say but um of course it's not how we say it or it's not very natural right to say this way so so uh, then the sentence pattern mm -hmm. comes in it's very important um I'm big on sentence patterns. Right. I always uh, try to teach sentence patterns so that you can mix and match mm -hmm. um, nouns or verbs or adjectives. You can replace with something else. Mm -hmm. So, in this case, like today, my supervisor told me I was being transferred. So, this particular one, um, in Japanese, we say, Somebody ga something to imashita. That's a sentence pattern we use. It's a mm -hmm. basic one. There's some, you know, several ways to describe right. this one. 
But this is the most basic sentence pattern.、Mm-hmm. Something. Somebody. Ga. Something. To imashita.、Mm-hmm. So in this case, somebody is supervisor. supervisor.、So、my supervisor.、Uh, so today, so kyo.、Mm-hmm. Start with kyo. Today, kyo. Supervisor ga. So in Japanese, we say supervisor for supervisor.、Mm-hmm. Supervisor ga. And the next, what he said to you. Boku no shozoku ga kawatta. To i mashita. Boku no shozoku. Boku no means my.、Mm-hmm. Shozoku means basically where you work or your position or your department, wherever you work. Kawatta means changed, has been changed or changed, was changed. To i mashita. To i mashita means he said. I, I can see one problem that people could run into、hmm. with this is also、um, pronouns. Because I could see you wanting to say, Kyo watashi no supervisor ga、hmm. watashi no. So you don't, you, you omit. O- omit. Yes, we did、uh, omit. In English, told me, supervisor、right. told me, me but my, we. My supervisor told me. So、um, my supervisor told me. In、so、English, th- you have to say, my supervisor、right. told me. You wouldn't just say, supervisor told me. Right, you have to say, my and me. But in Japanese, this, kyo supervisor ga? There's no me. Watashi ni. Me would be watashi ni. You could use it. You could、mm-hmm. put kyo supervisor ga watashi ni. Watashi, ah,、uh, boku no shozoku ga, wa boku ni. Boku no shozoku ga kawatta to i mashita. You could put boku ni, wa watashi ni.、Mm-hmm. Told me this me part, in, but we、Don't. it's very unnatural to、yeah. say these. You know, Japanese, we try、right. to omit pronouns、right. as much as possible, so we don't say me part in this.、Right. So, kyo, today, supervisor ga, so my supervisor, we don't say watashi no, so supervisor ga, boku no shozoku ga kawatta. I was, I was transferred. To i m a s h i t a he said, because verb always comes very end in、mm-hmm. Japanese. It's kind of <laughs> complicated with that、um, whiteboard. Yeah. Anything, but, okay.、Um, so, another example? Hi. This sentence pattern somebody got something. To i m a s h i t a this particular sentence pattern, I created two more examples. So, one is, Kyo, Tomodachi ga, Konsato ni iku, to i m a s h i t a Today, my friend said he or she is going to a concert. So, this too, Kyo, today, Tomodachi ga, again, it's not Watashi no Tomodachi ga,、right. my friend. In English, you have to say my friend, whose friend, you have to say that. But in Japanese, just tomodachi ga.、Mm-hmm. It included, yeah, my friend basically. So, kyo, tomodachi ga. What did he say? What did, what did she say? Konsato ni iku. I am、mm-hmm. going to a concert.、Mm-hmm. To i m a s h i t a That's what she or he said. So,、okay. that's another sentence pattern.、Uh, the same sentence pattern. And then the second example. Sensei ga. 明日英語のテストをすると言いました。My teacher said tomorrow we'll have an English test. はい。So, 先生 teacher, so my teacher. And then next is what he said or she said. 明日 tomorrow, 英語のテストをする。So, 英語のテスト、英語、English,、mm-hmm. テスト、テスト。をする。する means to do, to, to do. but、uh, basically we're gonna have,、mm-hmm. you guys gonna have English test tomorrow, is what this teacher said. Right. Okay. So that was the basic sentence pattern.、Mm-hmm. Somebody ga something to i m a s h i t a Well,、uh, since he used this verb, tsugeru,、mm-hmm. to inform 
So I use that verb and then created another sentence pattern. Uh, the same thing, saying basically the same thing, but it's more dramatic because if you use this verb together, it's not just saying something, but more like informing something, more like serious, a little bit more serious than right. just saying something. You'd say to your friends, mm -hmm. he told me this, but mm -hmm. a newscaster would say, we've just been informed by the White House. Yeah, probably use a little different verb. Yeah. So together is more, a little bit more serious. So. This sentence pattern, somebody, kara, something, <laughs> to tsugeraremashita. Okay, somebody, kara, something, to tsugeraremashita. So, if you want to use this sentence pattern, mm -hmm. and Donald san, you can say, kyo, uh, supervisor, kara, you can use it that way. Okay. Nice. But the thing is, tsugeraremashita is a passive form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then if you want to use passive, you have to use kara, mm -hmm. uh, not ga, not particle, ga. but kara, from my supervisor. I was told this. All right. Um, you got three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, so I, uh, I came up with two more examples using this particular sentence pattern. One is, Kyo, kanojo kara wakaretai to tsugeraremashita. Today, my girlfriend informed me she wants to break up. Right. It's a little bit more serious than just, you know, the verb you, itta, mm -hmm. imashita. The second one, isha kara. The doctor informed me I need an operation. So again, a little bit more serious than just saying, oh, I'm going to a supermarket or I'm going to a concert, right? Mm -hmm. So I will try to explain in uh, lesson notes. And those of you who uh, subscriber, donation subscriber will get lesson notes. Cool. Hi. All right, before we run out of time, um, Remind you about friends.japancast.net. Hmm. If you're looking for somebody to practice writing these kind Hi. of things with, great place to go. And if you have questions, send them to hitomi at japancast.net and we'll try to feature. We actually have a couple of questions we still need to answer. We haven't had time because of the when? what's going on. And again, thank you guys very much for your donations and your support. We really Hi. appreciate it. So we'll see you next time.